Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I'm Aisha Salihu. The IRA Consultative Forum ACF has expressed its opposition to the payment of ransom to secure the release of abducted citizens of the country. The forum, however, approved negotiations with bandits. ACF appeals to the bandits holding Cardinia Private University students to set them free without further delay. President Muhammad Buhari has warned against attacks on security agencies following recent destruction of police facilities in the southeast. The president enjoined local leaders to counsel youths against being used as instruments to incite violence. About 40 worshippers have reportedly been abducted from a mosque on Monday morning in Jibia, Katsina State. Police authorities are yet to react to the attack in the border town, which has recorded frequent bandits attacks in the past. The General Overseer of the Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo, has warned his members against taking shots of the COVID-19 vaccine. The cleric calls on government to collaborate for a lasting solution to the COVID-19 pandemic. And in business, the Senate Committee on Finance says about 2 trillion naira revenue may have been trapped with ministries, departments and agencies of government all spent on frivolous expenditures. The committee is probing revenue remittances over 700 MDAs from 2014 to 2020 and payment of 1% stamp duty on all contract awards by the MDAs within the same period. And in sports, European football governing body UEFA is set to decide whether to move Champions League final from Istanbul, Turkey to Wembley in England due to travel restrictions related to COVID-19. Discussion between UEFA and UK government officials is on to finalize where Chelsea and Manchester City will play the final on May the 29th. And that wraps it all for Trust News Summary. I'm Aisha Salim. Thanks for joining us.